the work that's being done here, it's just really inspirational. Every time I walk into the chemistry building, I see Nobel Prizes. I know that the work being done here is on the cutting edge. My overall impression of Brookhaven National Lab that it is huge. I find it really awesome that we have so many different buildings. Each field has their own building where they're doing research specific to that building, kind of like a mini city in here of research. And I feel like that's really unique. I'm from Stony Brook, so I'm pretty local. And Brookhaven was like that like perfect distance of being like enough away from home, but like not too far away that I could kind of like establish relations, get some contacts and begin like my own kind of career. I absolutely love Brookhaven summer program because first of all, you get exposed to world-class facilities. This summer I've gotten to use a lot of unique sort of world-class instruments that you can't really find many other places in the world. So having the opportunity to be able to come here and work with them, not only just be around them, but work with them is really amazing. Okay, so now we have your samples. And, and One of the really interesting things at Brookhaven, like my mentor has a degree in physics, a lot of the other people in the department work in other disciplines. So this is one of two uh, really fast electron accelerators in the country. And this enables us to study electron transfer processes in your system. We all work on chemistry related things and use our other expertise to be able to further the research. Summer internship program at Brookhaven involves 10 weeks of research by student collaborators who work side by side with our scientific staff. What's great is they get an opportunity to come in and to work with some of the best scientists in the world, with the best machines in the world. We're really introducing them to the Department of Energy family. The thing that really sets Brookhaven apart is that interdisciplinary aspect. If you are on the fence about what you actually want to do in STEM, They've got a lot of different options that you can explore here. I've been trained as a chemist, but uh, here we're doing more isoproduction, production, so it starts to work into the nuclear physics ends of things, and then all the separation chemistry, and then the thing that we want to do with everything we produce here is ultimately bring it back and work on the biology to bring it into preclinical research and then ultimately try to get it into patients to improve people's lives. I started out in the physics department here, which was kind of my track at the time. The stuff I did there was fun, but I didn't really see myself making a career out of it. But then when I came here and started doing quantum computing, it's kind of a new field. And I kind of like it because it's sort of acting like a great equalizer among a lot of different scientists. We're all kind of figuring it out at the same time. In almost all areas of science now, there is computational science. Having people involved in creating the computational codes that can then go through and identify key figures within our data, this has become an important area of research. I definitely didn't realize that high energy physics leans towards root and Python and Java and these coding languages as no one really tells you that you should be learning, but it was really interesting to gain that experience and gain that knowledge. The laboratory has facilities that my home institution, university, could not afford to have. So NSLS2 is a multi-billion dollar instrument with lots of scientists working here, doing some incredible research. For the summer, we're here at the Medical Isotope Research and Production. So we're able to actually use the linear accelerator, one of only two in the country, that have this high energy proton beam that we can actually make radioactive nuclides and isotopes that we want to study. And so that level of technology isn't something that we have at my university or really any universities. To do isotope production work is something we would never be able to do otherwise. I like having the opportunity to collaborate with people, to bring students, to allow them to develop their interest in science and to be able to work on facilities that otherwise they would never be able to see. I've never seen a beam line before. I didn't actually know that they existed <laughs> prior to this. The thing I really like about Brookhaven, especially for the summer students, is just that it can make them excited about science. I didn't realize that users do come here, and I think that's also very interesting that people that don't work here can also experience the Beamline. This is a critical opportunity for the students to be able to see what larger laboratories are able to accomplish. Here I enjoy the fact that there are other scientists here and that it's a real world setting. You know, you sit in a classroom for and however many hours a week you sit in there and there's definitely a lot of value to that but the experience of actually performing the science is invaluable. And there's a lot more thought of doing research that will actually benefit society and further the research community. Since I only have the academic lab setting I didn't know if I'd actually like doing actual research outside of the, an academic lab. Especially when you look at 
going and getting a job in a specific field of scientific research. This experience, it's absolutely invaluable. It's not something that you can really get at a university. So the OEP offers extracurricular activities, I guess you can call them. They're like safety bowl that I went to. There's also a talent show that I'm really looking forward to. I enjoy the fact that they give us other opportunities to meet other interns. I'm in the lab most of the day, so it's not like I can just go around and talk to other interns that are here as well. So it's nice that there's a chance to socialize and unwind outside of the lab. I really like the atmosphere. For example, in my last internship, everybody was from computer science. And it was cool and all, but we didn't get a taste of the different sciences. It's very interesting to see what other interns are doing. I like that not everybody is in the same department. Like for example, I'm not limited to just hanging around with other computer scientists. I can hang out and experience and talk to anyone. And that's, I think it's a really unique experience. So I have noticed that as an initiative with Brookhaven that there is a focus on increasing the diversity of the workplace. The message is that science is for everyone. A big asset of this internship is the fact that I got to meet so many people from different walks of life, from different nationalities, different parts of the world, even different parts of the United States that I had no clue even existed. I actually joined a tennis club here at BNL. It's really good to have the facilities, you know, to to clear your mind to other research and do other social activities. Getting summer interns is critically important because we're not within the science division, so we're support. We have responsibilities of managing all of the natural areas on the laboratory, and so the only way that we can manage that is with information. And so having interns come in and doing projects allows us to gather the information. What are you finding the most of? Mostly long star. We get to work with them so that they get a scientific experiment to work on and get that experience, which is critical in their careers. We host visiting faculty who will come here from uh, universities and other college systems that uh, have not had an experience to work with the Department of Energy in the past, that they can create projects related to the work that they care about. They can take that back to the school. Having a good mentor is one of the blessings, because if you don't have a proper mentoring, and mentor, science is not going to move forward, in my opinion. I learned from my mentor by writing grants and so by um, publishing a lot of, a couple of journals. These guys are very busy and it is very hard to get in touch with them. They show me things that I don't know because they have a lot of experience in this field and I'm just I'm learning from them. Can I just give the base design to my students so that they can start working on yeah, it? Yeah, I think for the students... Uh... I have my own assignment that I have to do, even though I am discussing with my mentor, because we have some work that we, have to, we, we need to do. Now, when I finish with them, I give some other assignment to my two students that are here. So basically, um, I work on my own, and I also give some portion back to my students to do the work. One of the objectives for me to come back to BNL is to expand my collaborations beyond BNL. So when I came first time in 2006, we had only worked work with the uh, Brookhaven National Lab. Down the road after two years, we started increase one of the consortiums that was funded by our grant from Southern University at New Orleans. We got funding from National Science Foundation and portion of that money, about $100,000, we put under BNL to enhance the participation of all minority serving institutions across the nation. Look, if you fund research, this is what you will get for it. You will get students prepared, you'll get students educated, but also you'll get some really great science that'll be published. The added benefit is we get a lot of really great students trained and they'll go on to be the next scientist. I think it's very exciting that the little things I'm doing here can develop into something so much greater. Right now I'm trying to figure out the field I want to go into uh, graduate school. This summer I've gotten the opportunity to work hands-on in a lab and work with LEAF. I've also gotten the opportunity to write some, some code to operate some of the instruments. So it really gives me some experience with both chemistry and computer science and gives me a better idea of which field I want to go into in the future. My biggest goal, I guess, in life is to make a difference, to make a positive impact on the world. I guess I've done that in the past with my military service, but to be able to take my talents and my efforts to help change the energy landscape for the future and hopefully make this world um, a better place 
it's, it's really exciting. I didn't ever really think that I'd have an opportunity to do it, and it feels good to be a part of it.